Okay, so as promised, I did an endurance flight on this uh, iFlight IH3 with the DYS. Uh, these are the uh, 1404, uh, I think these are yeah, the 4300 40, KV motors. And uh, I did uh, some endurance tests on something similar like this before. This is the Rotorex uh, 1404 3600 KV motor. I believe I got a little over an 8 minute flight on that one. It was a little bit different frame. It was actually a lighter frame than this, this one. Same battery, the 850 Tattoo 4S LiPo. And so yeah, basically just kind of cruising around. Just want to see how long this battery would last. Um, I did the same thing in some of my other tests. And I'll show you the entire video uh, afterwards. Uh, and if you don't want to watch the whole thing, uh, just to, to save you the suspense, it, the flight lasted just a little over 12 minutes. And uh, I was actually kind of surprised that this went that long because on the Rotorex motor I was getting a little over 8 minutes. So it was a pretty significant bump up on a little bit higher KV motor, uh, 3600 versus 4300. So I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it. And uh, I had to run this test three times because I, I don't know about you guys, but flying for... Um, over, you know, about six, seven minutes is pretty hard uh, just to maintain that level of concentration uh, flying around. You get kind of tired, especially looking into some FPV goggles for that long. So on the third try, I finally got to the point where uh, the, the voltage came down to about uh, just below 14 volts. That's, that's where I kind of wanted to end it because I know that these batteries give out, basically it gets to about 14 volts and it falls off a cliff and I didn't want it to just like crash. So I, I, each of these uh, flights I'm bringing them in at 14 volts, which is around three and a half volts per cell. So the question I have for you guys is, um, knowing that these flights are really taking a long time and it's difficult to do these flights, how much interest is there in uh, actually getting these done? Because uh, flying for 12 minutes is pretty difficult. And um, yeah, I, I don't know about you guys, but that's pretty hard for me to do. So leave me some comments below. I want to really gauge the interest level of this because I think the last couple of those videos didn't really get that many views. But I'll have to see how many uh, views this thing gets. If, this is, if these kind of videos don't get a lot of views and there isn't a lot of interest in this, I'm probably going to stop doing this. So just let you guys know, if you want these kind of videos, you're going to have to be really vocal down in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretty much stop this because it's too difficult for me to do it. Anyway, I'll go ahead and show you the flight footage, the complete flight, because I know that the last time I, I sped up the flight, people complained about that. So it's giving the entire thing. You can you can fast forward through it if you want. I have the HD footage as well as the FPV footage, and I'll just overlay the uh, OSD elements on the bottom of the HD footage. And yeah, it's a completely totally boring flight because I'm just cruising around. Um, in this field, so it's really not that interesting, but you will see that uh, I mean, the battery does last a full 12 minutes on this flight, which is pretty impressive. So I'm thinking now that I, I'm, I've hit the 10 minute mark, I think this is going to be a pretty good setup. I, I'm kind of wondering why, I'm really curious why this heavier setup, you know, with a higher KV motor actually did perform better in terms of flight time and a lot better than the lighter setup in the Rotor X motor. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious what you guys think because I have no clue as to why that makes sense at all. It doesn't make any sense to me. So anyway, here's the flight footage for you.